I do wear all my watches. Well, I do wear all my watches in intervals, which means I do wear them at home, at work and wherever I am. The same here with my Brightening Avenger chronograph, 43 millimeters. Um, and as you could read in the, in the title of this video, I, I broke it. So um, how I did that and what I did afterwards to get it repaired, well, this I'm going to share today in today's video. Let's go. Hello and welcome everyone. As mentioned before, yes, I did break my Brightening Avenger. I think it happened at work, you know, I'm in the office, but as well sometimes at the shop floor. And it was, I think, during when I did check together with a colleague some of the fixtures. I move and I hit the watch and I felt it because this one is chunky. This is a little bit higher than usual. And um, yeah, I, I hit it somehow. Um, I checked directly afterwards my watch, but couldn't see anything, no scratch, no dent. When I was at home though, and when I just want to check the chronograph function, it happened that when I pushed the chronograph pusher, it stuck, it didn't get out, it didn't get back out. So um, the movement itself was all right. There was no issue, so I could activate the chronograph function, but I couldn't get the pusher out very well. As mentioned before, the chronograph function itself, the watch itself, did work all right. I could um, also um, stop and reset the chronograph. So this wasn't an issue, but yeah, the start pusher did stuck. What did I do? I did immediately call my AD not the one where I did bought this particular watch, but I did buy their other watches. And um, he has as well a very good watchmaker there who can do um, the maintenance of Rolex, Omega, and of course, writing. I mean, this is a Vosu 7750. The Avenger chronograph is not a very rare chronograph and um, it, it wasn't an issue. I did call him. Problem was, it was during the time when the um, pandemic hits Germany. So um, I called him and he said, okay, no, 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 no worries, no issue. We are closed, but I'm, I'm there. So um, you, can, you can give it to me, but please wear protection, everything. So I went there, left my watch. Issue was the watchmaker himself and also the staff, they are all at, at home and they couldn't work. So they told me approximately four to five weeks it will take to, to get the things checked and repaired. And as you can see, the Avenger is back. I, I picked them up yesterday in the afternoon. They gave me a call already three days ago, but I had tough days at work, so um, no way to go there before yesterday. And it was really great. They did repair it. It was the, the pusher itself was a little bit deformed. I think when I when I um, when I moved my hand, I hit it on the side here on the pusher. So it stuck every time they repaired this. They checked the accuracy. They checked also the water resistance. Everything fine, everything okay. I paid about 50 bucks, 50 euros, which is all right. I think you will not take longer than one hour to disassemble the pusher, check out what's wrong, repair everything, exchange everything, get the components there, do the water pressure or the pressure test, do the accuracy test. And yeah, it's for me, it's fine. I'm very happy he's back because this is a watch I do wear the most normally. It's one of my favorite pieces in my collection. I know it's not, nothing special, just a good old um, cost certified Vosjou 7750 inside, but it's, it's sort of my watch. I really like it. I really enjoy it. And I'm happy this one is back. All right, guys, this is my story about how I broke my Avenger and <laughs> how I got it repaired. I'm eager to learn about your opinion. Did you break your watch? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Anyways, if you did like this video, I would appreciate a like. And if you do like my content overall, hit the subscribe button. That would help me quite a lot. All right, guys, I wish all of you now a very happy weekend, a good start into the new week. Look forward to see you in the next one. Say goodbye and auf Wiedersehen. Euer Konstantin. Ciao, guys.